what day it is. It's anti-procrastination day. So let's get some music going. I think we're going to do our swish and swipe song because this makes our house, our bathroom always clean and ready for company. Swish and swipe. I'm swishing, I'm swiping, but you won't hear me griping Cause I'm less in my house today I really dig it, I get it It only takes a minute to keep my house looking this way And you should see me move when I'm getting in the groove With a can-do attitude or a fly so high when I'm swishing and swapping. No, you won't hear me rapping because I'm blessing my house today. And that's right. I've made it, I have it. There's nothing hard about it. Just 15 minutes a day. I'm cleaning and flinging. I do my quick routines and I'll soon be able to play. And you should see me smile when I spruce and up this time. It only takes a little while and I'm done. And it's fun when I'm swishing. Swapping, no, you won't hear me rapping Cause I'm blessing my house today I'll be back uh -huh. Here we go now Swish and swipe Get on in here. Yeah, get on in here. It's Wednesday, and that means it's anti-procrastination day. And what have you been putting off this week? You know what it is. Uh, let's see. You haven't been swishing and swiping. Uh, you've got a sink full of dishes. So we're in, uh, we're in zone one which is our entrance, our dining room, and our front porch. Now, some people, some of you might not be able to get out on your front porch, but guess what? If you've got an entrance, we're going to, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a little round robin on, on zone one today. And we're going to play some music. We're going to, um, you know, just make it look a little bit better. So go to your front door. And put your back up against your front door. And I want you to scan with your eyeballs around the entrance of your home. What do you see? Do you have things piled on the... I have a credenza right in front of my door that's right behind the couch. And you walk into my house and there it is. Do you see things that are out of place that need to be put somewhere else? So let's, let's just put on a different cap. We're going to be looking for things that aren't where they're supposed to be. So um, let's, uh, let me give you some announcements. We're getting low on calendars. Here it is, the second day of February. It's Groundhog's Day. And you know, I do not believe Punxsutawney Phil has seen his shadow in where we live but I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, everybody just, there's, there's some bad weather coming in to the middle of the country through Oklahoma and Missouri and Arkansas and West Tennessee and into Kentucky and all the way up to Pittsburgh. 
there's some bad weather, y'all, and you got to be ready. So get everything charged up because there could be some power outages. This morning, I yelled at the TV. I had I wanted to check the weather. And the weatherman was outside in St. Louis, and he said, icicles fell from the sky. Icicles don't fall from the sky. Icicles form when rain falls from the sky onto cold surfaces, a cold air. So Robert was in the bedroom getting dressed and he says, who are you yelling at? And I said, I'm yelling at the TV. <laughs> you got to start your morning out trying to get people straight here. Anyway, so y'all be ready. Uh, thank you, Sheila, for praying for Liz and Patty. They're both having, um, Patty sounds pretty good. She rested all day yesterday. She just didn't drink enough water. And Liz has got sinuses stuff going on and she has a lot of sinus problems. So y'all just keep them in your prayers. We're going to put, we're praying for a hedge of protection. We're building a hedge of protection around all my fly babies. Who sings our music? Well, it's, um, it's our music. And Eric Dodge sings, Amy, uh, we have several people who sing our music, um, but we made two, two albums uh, back several years ago, and they're timeless. I love them, and I play music from them every single day. And it's music that's never been on Spotify. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Spotify killed the music industry. And now the big stars are taking their music from Spotify because they're not making any money on it <laughs> because Spotify killed them. Anyway, so let's let's just put a hedge of protection around everybody. So if you're looking from your back to your front door, what's out of place? Let's get a, a basket and let's start putting things in the basket and putting it where it belongs. Are you ready? Let me see what we're going to play. I think we're going to have a cheerleading song. Go me. I'm flying and so proud. I'm soaring high above the crowd. I will smile and shout out loud. Go me, go me, go me. I will bless my house today, having fun along the way. I can't wait to start my day. Go me, go me, go me. I can do it. There's nothing to it. I'm flying. Grab the mail, grab the shoes, jackets, and put them away. That's our face. mission for today. I've been quick in the pace, knowing I can win this race. Go me, go me, go me. Fifteen minutes is all I've got, but I'm not gonna stop until I beat the clock. Go me, go me, go me. There's nothing to it. I'm flying through it. Go me, go me. I'm flying and so proud. Soaring high above the crowd. I will smile and shout out loud. Go me, go me, go me. Listen for it. Listen for it. 
I love that bad note. It makes me happy. You know, I used to do stained glass windows. I used to make stained glass windows. I made a living doing stained glass windows. But you know what? I almost killed myself in the process because I wouldn't pace myself. I'd work for 22 hours and get two hours sleep and get up and do it again. And, and I was also drinking hot tea with, with honey in it. And that's when I realized I was allergic to honey. It was awful. It was awful. So you, you just have to learn to pace yourself. Now, today we're talking about our morning routine. Uh, I, I pulled it up on the website. We're in our back to basics day 11 and our morning routine, we are before bed routine is the most important routine of the day, but our b morning routine just kicks us off on the right foot. Your feet hit the ground. You make your bed. You go to the bathroom, you swish and swipe. Uh, you grab a load of laundry and you take it to your washing machine and get it going. You have things ready to go. You just one thing after another and your one foot it's a dance to start your day and before you know it your house has been on autopilot and you've gotten a lot of things done then our show comes on and we get you doing some things you hadn't thought about so let's let's put those shoes and jackets away get them in the coat closet get the shoes in other people's bedrooms where they belong and it is amazing what you can get done in just the length of one song. So now let's go to your dining table. When's the last time you had a meal at your dining table? Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. When is the last time? So let's clean off our dining table. And let's see, what are we going to play? I think we're going to do the I'm Flying song. Here we go. We're cleaning off our dining table. Maybe put a new tablecloth on there. That keeps you from piling it up. Well, my sink is shining, but I'm not winding up. I'm just a baby stepping and I'm not obsessing and flying. I got my list of things to do and I'm ready for action in my lace off shoes. But I'm no mother, I'm just working smarter and flying. Well, these piles of clutter could be blessing others, so I'm flying. And while I'm flinging, you can hear me singing, I'm flying. I have my friends and family, but with routines in place, I still have time for me. I can get things done while I'm having fun, cause I'm flying. Saxophone in the morning. To sing the blues Do you know the system? Have you heard the news? You can start today I found a better way I'm flying Yes, I'm flying Jazz hands! So, TG, where are you in the world? You said you got an inch of new snow. So, and the groundhog didn't see his shadow. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, in six weeks, we'll have spring. <laughs> okay, folks. 
Let's see. Um, say a prayer for a friend of mine. She's a fly baby, has been a long time. Uh, Melanie, she is in, um, she's from Nashville, but her husband, she and her husband were in um, South Florida just having fun, just going around and seeing friends. And they had car trouble yesterday. And she was thankful for a hedge. <laughs> This is a pun. A head, building a hedge of protection. She sent me a picture this morning. She said, I was so thankful for this hedge because I had to potty really bad. And just on the other side of that hedge was the freeway. So she had to um, take care of business out in the middle of nowhere with car trouble. And they finally, after three hours, got a tow truck to come and get them. And they're staying with a friend who is the friend who brought her to Christ. And so she's having time uh, with her friend and her husband's taking care of the things they need to do to get their car fixed. It's not fun to have car trouble. Justin had car trouble last week, uh, and not on his car, but he was with a friend and they had he had just gotten new tires on his truck. And they tightened them too tight and broke off three lugs from a five lug wheel. And you have to take the whole wheel off to fix that. It was not fun for them. And so I, I felt, I felt her pain. I asked her if she needed anything and she didn't need anything, but she was having fun, fun with her friend. And she sent me a picture of a beautiful pool and a cabana and uh, they were enjoying the day, having their coffee outside. So I'm, I'm just, it wouldn't be fun in Nashville coming tomorrow. Anyway, so folks, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Okay, we've done our dining room. Now, let's, you know, kitchen's not in this zone. But we got to have our kitchen clean every day. So I want you to start a sink full of hot soapy water and do up the dishes that are sitting around your sink. You know, you don't have to always put them in the dishwasher. Just get them done and <clears throat> get them out of the way and then start thinking about what's for dinner. So all of you who know what's for dinner tonight, start putting it in the chat so people can can follow you. So, so people will know, um, get some idea of what's for dinner at their house from you, because, you know, we got calendars here. I've said, you know, several times I've been charting our meals on my little calendar for three months now, December, January, and I'm into the third month. Just having a calendar that has all the meals we eat on it. It's it's nice seeing that. Um, the other night, we, I said, I think I want something different for dinner tonight. And he said, Robert said, what? And I said, you know, we haven't eaten Thai food in a long time. And there's a little Thai restaurant that does takeout right as you go into town. I mean, it's not even five miles from the house. And so he's, he said, well, place the order. He had duck and I had pad thai and we just in, enjoyed it. It's a little more than we like to spend, but we do it twice a year. Potato soup. Yeah, that's that's good. Asian steak and veggies. Look at y'all. I cooked um, the other night. I made pasta carbonara. And if you've never made a carbonara, it is fun. I like to take, um, I've, I've got it on my YouTube channel where I've made it. You just do about five eggs and <clears throat> put some cream in it. And, oh, you you can, I, I like to put some bacon in a pan and throw some, some English peas in there and stir them around. And then take the hot pasta out of the pan, put it down in the bacon and stir it around. And then pour these eggs and Parmesan and cream on top of it. And it was really good, folks. It was good. And it was different. We hadn't done that in a long time. 
Yeah, high from freezing Oklahoma. I heard there was uh, ice around in Oklahoma. I haven't checked with with some of the uh, the Walker Farm family there in Oklahoma to see how they got garlic and Parmesan wings. Oh, that sounds good. Mm, mm, mm. You can tell I haven't had breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. I fast most of the day and I start thinking about dinner. But y'all, going to make a pumpkin pie. Wow, that's fun. It's not even the time for pumpkin pie, but hey, a pumpkin pie anytime is pretty good. So part of your morning routine is swishing and swiping. And we have a swish and swipe set right now. The, the, the rubber swisher and a vase is a really good price right now. I've sent, sent out the email this morning. If you're not getting our email, then you need to get our messages. Uh, but swish and swipe takes me longer to tell you how to do it than it does to actually do it. It's about a minute. And you take a purple rag, <clears throat> get it wet, you wipe down your mirror. If you've been flossing your teeth, your mirror needs to be white because you got some dental floss home runs on that mirror. Then you wipe down the counter, you put away your makeup, you clear off the counter, and then you head over to your toilet. And I keep my toilet bowl brush in a vase that is filled, right now it's filled with um, antibacterial Dawn dishwashing liquid. One part Dawn, one part water, which makes it thin enough to drip off. And then I swish the toilet every day, whether it needs it or not, I swish the toilet. And it keeps my bathroom looking and smelling good. And it's just a simple thing that takes a minute or less. So folks, swishing and swiping is going to change your life. It is going to change your life if you will do it. That's all there is to it. So let's see. Excuse me. So if you can get out on your front porch, don't go out if it's icy. But if you've got some fluffy snow out there, you may want to sweep a path just to get it. You know, get some dark stuff coming up. So the the wood showing through, if it's, you know, like about 32 degrees, it'll start melting. Yeah, today is enjoy the day to 22, 22. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's February 2, 02, 22. And I was listening to Pastor uh, Dutch Sheets this morning, and he did uh, on Give Him 15, get the app, listen to his stuff every day. He did a little show on Isaiah 2222. 2222. My sister, Patty, has uh, her birthday is on the 22nd of March. Spaghetti and meatballs with sourdough garlic. Y'all are making me hungry. I'm telling you. So check out your front porch. Don't go out there if it's slick. Just be careful and you know sweep your front porch if you can. If you can't, sweep your entrance. And then I think we're gonna gather up all the trash in the house. Where is Room Patrol? Room Patrol. You know, right by my front door, I have my launch pad too. And sometimes that launch pad gets piled up with things and you kind of have to clean that out. Right now I have some egg cartons there that I give to my neighbor. And that's and a pan I want to give away. And there you have it. So let's... um. <clears throat> Okay, I went too far that time. Let's gather up all the trash in the house from your bedroom to your bathroom to your kitchen. Just gather it all up. Yeah.
I am a member of the Special Elite Operations Unit Room Patrol. When Room needs rescue, you can count on me. Room Patrol, this is Dispatch. We have evidence of a hot spot in Sector 2. All members of Room Patrol respond. Move in and eliminate the clutter. Let's go. Dispatch, we have surrounded the clutter in Sector 2. You're right, this hot spot is drawing clutter and slot. We're sending in the SWAT team. Let's get to the bottom of this. Get your gear. Place up your shoes. Bring the trolls. Let's roll. Let's Dispatch, we have newspapers hiding behind the magazine rack. They're taking over. I repeat, they're taking over. Please advise. Room Patrol, you have authorization to remove all expired newspapers and magazines from the premises immediately. Roger, all clear. <laughs> There's a cold red on the trash receptacle. I can smell it from here. Put on your gas mask and move in. <laughs> Copy that dispatch. No job is too hard for room patrol. Let's pack it up and ship it out. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Okay, some of you have already put your trash out and the trash man has picked it up. Good for y'all. Taco salad, goulash. Y'all got some good stuff cooking there. I'm telling you. Okay, folks. You got your marching orders. Your mission. Uh, also, get your questions to Liz. She needs to get them done early because she needs to get in bed early. So get your questions to Liz because tomorrow's question and answer day. And it's always fun to answer your questions because you have some good ones. So get them to Liz. She will get them to me and it'll be all good. Uh, keep um, Pastor Greg Locke in Nashville. Well, he's in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. And keep the whole church in, in your prayers. Keep the whole church in your prayers. They are um, being, um, let's just say, they're having some issues with the community because they have gone after witches and warlocks, Freemasons. So y'all, send them all your support. I had a vision this morning of a dome of angels over the property. All the angels were all holding hands in this huge net. Remember the net that that the disciples threw out to catch fish? Think of a net of angels. And that's why I was talking about building a hedge of protection around my fly babies just a hedge of angels a, a dome of angels around all of them you know that would cover the whole world wouldn't that be something to cover the whole world with angels mm. the lord's protection yeah let's let's uh so y'all 
we have the power in our prayers, in our voice, we can declare dominion over the demons that are out there. I had a bad dream last night, but I don't think it was a bad dream. I dreamed I was helping people get delivered from those demons. And one of them came out of a person and, and they, that demon wanted to come into me and I rebuked it right there in mid sentence. In the name of Jesus, you can do it. You don't need somebody to help you. You can do it yourself. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' holy name. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for all that you do for us. Please send the Holy Spirit to protect my fly babies all over the world. This hedge of protection from the evil that is out there trying to destroy their homes. Father in heaven, please give me the right words to initiate that protection. Lord, keep us strong. Help us to help others find the Lord, just like my friend Melanie and the friend that brought her to Jesus 30 years ago. How beautiful to have that relationship. Helping others come to Christ, there's no better calling in this world. Thank you, Lord, for giving us our calling, helping us with the Great Commission to spread the love of Jesus throughout the world. So put up our hedge of protection, Lord, to protect everyone from the evil that's out there. Keep us safe, keep us strong. And Lord, One day, we will get to celebrate with you in heaven. All these things we ask in your son's holy name. Amen and amen. So everybody, be good, kind, and sweet. Do it, Angeline, do it. You can do it. You can rebuke in Jesus' name. You can rebuke them. Uh, this morning, Robert woke me up from my dream because I was I was yelling out for God. And uh, he said, what was going on last night? And I said, I was helping to cast out demons. And he said, You've been listening to too many preachers who see demons on every corner. And I said, honey, I've been fighting demons my whole life. Dreams from long ago I've had about the devil coming after me. And in one dream I had, um, I was keeping evil away from me with a cross in my hand the size of that one just about the size of that one, a cross in my hand, and I was holding it to keep the the evil away. Now, not that I think that a cross will do that. It's Jesus Christ that will do that. He died on that cross for us. So everybody, be strong. Go to your Bible and read. Uh, Read Romans 8, 2. It's a great verse for today. Romans 8, 2. So folks, I'll see you at 3 o'clock. Get your questions to Liz. Either post them here, post them on Facebook, or send them to Liz at flylady.net. So we can do it, y'all. We really can. We have the power. With Jesus' help, we have the power. I love you all. Be good, kind, and sweet. Good to yourself, kind to others, and let the sweetness and the joy that is in your heart that comes from the good Lord to show the world that you are a child of the Most High God. I'll see you at three.
Bye.